September 2021, 20 years after the 9-11 attacks. Unforgettable images of the evacuation of U.S. personnel from Afghanistan following the collapse of President Ashraf Ghani's government. Tens of thousands of Afghans with links to the U.S. did not make it out. Nearly 200 of them died when Daesh attacked the crowded Kabul airport. 13 American soldiers were also killed. Almost two years on, the U.S. State Department has released the most scathing report yet, detailing the problems that culminated in the chaotic withdrawal of American forces. Interviews with 150 current and former U.S. Foreign Service officers and support staff show that the stress, demands, and risks of the situation are hard to exaggerate and place tremendous burdens on the department's personnel. They say Washington was deeply unprepared. While the Taliban made territorial gains early that summer, senior officials relied on assurances from Ghani that his forces would defend Kabul. That did not happen. The report also points to a lack of qualified leadership, with many critical domestic and overseas department positions not filled by Senate-confirmed appointees. Ultimately, State Department personnel say both the Trump and Biden administrations did not have senior-level consideration of worst-case scenarios, and it was a mistake to hand over Bagram Air Base to the Afghan government because it meant only one airport could be utilized for evacuations. They say there was no clear decision about how to evacuate at-risk Afghans or where they would be taken. The report stresses the need for more efficient and integrated crisis communications and has recommended simulation exercises for State Department personnel, as well as more support for vulnerable populations in a crisis. The U.S. president was asked if he accepts he made mistakes during the Afghanistan withdrawal. Remember what I said about Afghanistan? I said al-Qaeda would not be there. I said it wouldn't be there. I said we'd get help from the Taliban. What's happening now? What's going on? Read your press. I was right. U.S. intelligence assessed last year that al-Qaeda has not regrouped in Afghanistan since the Taliban takeover, but some of its members still remain in the country. Yasmin Asabawi, TRT World, Washington. Okay.